I have been talking about gyros a lot on my channel lately, and I've been showing you how to use the motors tab and the accelerometer readout on the motors tab to determine whether your motors have too much vibration or not. But there's something that a commenter pointed out that I missed. Or did I? Or does it even matter? Well, I'm going to tell you about it. Stay tuned. The thing that I commenter pointed out is this. ACC LPF Hertz. Somewhere along the line, Betaflight added a 10 Hertz low-pass filter on the accelerometer. Now, I'm not sure if this option has always been there, but it was set higher before, or maybe it's just never been there and Boris added it. But way back when I learned how to use the motors tab, I didn't take it into account. I don't think it existed, or maybe I just missed it. But we should definitely pay attention to it now because a 10 Hertz low-pass filter on your motors could make a big difference in your ability to determine whether the motors are off balance or does it well there's only one way to find out and that's through the use of science science let's go to the motors tab we've got the 10 hertz low pass and i'm just going to do one motor here let me just plug in my motors hold on and now i'm going to take one motor the props are off by the way so the vibrations are not going to be huge but we should be able to tell a difference now. There we go, and I'm gonna take one motor, and I'm gonna smoothly spin it up, and I'm just gonna use the arrow key here, because I don't want there to be any big jumps in the motor's output that would throw off the accelerometer readings. Okay, 29, 68, 56, and let's kill that. 29, 68, 56. Let's get some more data. Now here's something interesting that I've discovered. If I set the ACC LPF Hertz too high, the accelerometer appears to stop working. I don't know why that is. I thought maybe it had something to do with my cycle time, but... Mm, if we look at the cycle time, we're only at 13%. I really have no idea. Now, I have gotten it to work at 60 hertz before. If I power cycle the board, sometimes it starts working. I really don't know what's going on there. Now you can see that it is working at 50. So that's just a little bit more than last time. Let's just run through that one more time. Twenty-seven, ninety-one, and sixty. Twenty-seven, ninety-one, and sixty. So this, with the LPF of fifty, I got twenty-one, ninety-one, and sixty. With the LPF of ten, I got twenty-nine, sixty-eight, and fifty-six. Those are pretty close. And we would also expect that as the LPF went up, the numbers would get bigger, which they definitely did not do. So I'm going to say that at least in my situation, certainly with the props off. The LPF Hertz does not seem to make a substantial difference in how this reads. I don't know why that is, but there you go. With the props on, the situation should be even better because the props will slow the motors down. Therefore, we will get lower frequency vibrations. Therefore, the low pass filter will be less, it will have less influence on our results. So, I, well, you could certainly run your motors up some more at different values, but. At least in, uh, in my initial conclusion is that there doesn't seem to be a reason to change this value when testing your motors. I, you still seem to get valid data, some kind of valid data, you know, uh, as to whether the motor is vibration or not. But I will say this, my guidelines that I have given out in the past 
on how many G's you should expect to see for a motor. I think I said something like 0.1 uh, 0.01 to 0.03 with the props off and 0.1 to 0.3 with the props on, something like that. Those don't seem consistent with what I'm seeing here. So I'm not sure whether those numbers need to really be revised. I guess what I would say is take your motors, take them when you first get them, when they're brand new. And before you fly them even one time, do a props off test using this setting. And then you'll at least have a baseline for what they should be later if they've gotten worse and how much worse they've gotten. Hope that's helpful, and as always, happy flying.